In this tutorial, we want to look at how to use these selection tools. I have already a video on how to use the rectangle select and ellipse tool. So I would suggest you have a look at it as well. And then this will be looking at the free select scissors select and foreground select all these tools can be used to select an object to remove its background so we we'll start um i will have to get my image so i go to my any um, and then i bring you can just drag in your image Now the, um, I, 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 I want to remove the background of my model or my subject. So what I will do is that I go and select the foreground select tool. Now I would then the, um, draw an outline around it. You can just move uh, like drawing with your hand pressed on your key on your mouse and then just drawing around with, with it this is similar to the freehand drawing uh, freehand select that i'm going to talk about after now it, you can also release your hand and you can do a straight line so this tool is a combination of freehand and as well um drawing straight lines so look you can click drag and click drag and click and then drag and click you can also outline as i did now this is our outline for this is not yet selected just an outline when you double click in it gives you this thing here which tells you which tells us uh, where it has been selected and where it's not selected the dark blue place means it's not selected and this place the lighter one is selected the color you can choose the color here i have blue you can choose any color for example if your it depends on your picture or image if the image has a lot of blue and you want to have some contrast it will be better you choose a different color but i'm okay with this now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to draw the foreground and um, i'll show you um let's first of all um i normally draw with feather edges if you select this the edges you will get in the end will be like smooth it won't be straight straight hard lines to be like softening the edges so let's give it a radius about 50 um, or so i can increase it or decrease it depending on after you you see what you have you can adjust it now i'm going to draw the back uh, the foreground the stroke width i've chosen this i can increase or decrease let's start with a bigger stroke so that we get the whole uh, model first of all and then we can change um, make it a bit um, one thing you should please please remember is don't paint getting stay inside this boundary so that you don't go outside of the fair the light blue place if you do that you are going to get some error um, error in your thing it's not going to work well so always try to stay within don't go beyond if you like now let's say i in case you, you do like this you can come to the background like this again and then paint this a bit uh, in, in case you don't want that but i went over i'm not very sure whether this will because i went over but we will see now let's um let's have a preview of what we've done so you see this box here you have a let's look at now more or less it did this if you are not satisfied with it you go on and then let's remove uh, reduce our this thing a bit and then because i want to get the our models hand and then get 
here as well maybe I'll come here a bit because I did not get um, everything of her hair so something like this this is how everything will come out more or less let me get more of her dress I'm scared that I uh, some way somehow that it won't work because I've gone beyond what I should go but let's see here let's do select actually date so we have our selection um here it's it's selected as i said in case you get a mistake do it again and try to stay within what you selected before you did the the, the draw okay now we have this selected um if we are satisfied with it we let's put this on a new um, um layer you can either select this and put on a new layer or you can just uh, invert it and delete the back but i normally what i normally do is i just go to edit and then do a copy and then go to edit again and and then i do paste as a new layer so now if i close this this is my selection but if it, this will lead us into let me deselect this you see maybe you see that i i did not this tool doesn't sometimes give the perfect testing because the selection did not go very well and i want to maybe remove these parts a bit then you can also use that's when we are i'm coming to show you how to use a free select tool so when you press the free select tool you get this dialog box as well and i will always check the uh, annihilation and then the feather edge the uh, edges so that it's smooth because you see this it gives us feather edges for the uh, foreground select so it, it's a bit uh, the edges are smooth now let me increase the radius a bit and then let's select some place here so this tool works like this you can also draw something like this you can select whatever you want to select i select maybe around here a bit i mean i did a mistake there but doesn't matter if you if, if in case you think you you did something you don't like it you can press escape key and then it goes away and then you you can uh, go on and do another selection that is just to for me to show you how you can go away quickly and then um, do your selection again now this you come you see that it's already selected because you see it's moving and then in case you want to delete that you just press the enter key hey you did a delete key on your keyboard press the delete key on your keyboard and it deletes it now let's do this here so you see that it's removed some of the parts so i wouldn't go in to make this very clean because it, mm, i just want to show you how it works and then let's now down the next thing i want to show you is the scissor select tool so we go for it and you have this options here we choose the anti aliasing and then the feather edges and then let's see what how it works so you start and start uh, drawing clicking around you can also uh, uh, make select and move it like like this and then it understands and it's actually a, a, a they call it the intelligence scissor so it understands more or less when you drag like this look i just drag like this and come here and then it goes in again it recognizes the uh, the thing i'm doing more or less so i can 
go around and select I, I can either uh, stretch and select or just um, select like this go and click 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 or I can um, stretch you know drag more or less that's what I'm doing I'm dragging or you can also do click 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 let's say you are here get rid of a, a node you can easily do that by going to shift control and pressing it you see deleted the node in case and then you can also move this around you can come here and move it just in case you you want to um, delete you did a mistake and you want to delete something just for you to know how to do that now I, I move my things here a bit so that they, they are in place and then after you are satisfied with what you've done you just click it and then it selects it so now let's go here and go to edit and then we go to uh, copy and then we, we come here and do edit and then we say paste as a new layer and now if I close this and then I take the selection if I go to selection none you see it, did a, it wasn't bad they did a good job selecting you can I mean this I did it very fast if you are uh, doing a project or so then you have to have a bit of patience and uh, to go in and do your selection very well there are other tools as well that I'll be talking about that you can use as well to do your selection thank you for watching and please come again please help me by subscribing to my channel and please give me a like in case this helped you in any way thank you bye